Hi everybody, I'm Matteo Ferrario. Let's talk about cables. In, in our studio, we have many devices communicating with each other and go, it goes without saying that uh, audio signals have, a, have to travel at a defined level. Uh, we're talking about the studio line level, which uh, is fixed conventionally at plus 4 dB, while the consumer level is, is at minus 10 dB. Against stage is a place um, where you can um, amplify or decrease the incoming signal in terms of uh, amplitude. Here's a mixer, for example, uh, which gathers different channels together and for each one of them as a, as a button that switch from plus 4 and minus 10 dB. In our home studio we have different stages where uh, we can amplify or weaken the signal such uh, as on the audio interface as a microphone preamp this the best approach is the one that suggests to suggest us to amplify the signal as soon as you can carrying it uh, at, a, at a substantial level and then keeping it un unchanged, unchanged as much as possible it's important for this reason, speaking of cables and connectors, having high quality cables in order to uh, avoid sound deterioration or noises. There are a few types of cables. Oh, sorry. This is a TS cable, uh, or quarter inch cable. We can see the connector has two components. Um, a tip and a sleeve. This type of cable is called unbalanced or single conducting cable and it's used to transmitting signals uh, coming for example from a guitar or a bass. Okay, this one is similar but has three components and it's called TRS cable or two conducting cable. It's widely used for headphones and it's like two TS fused together, it's a, it's a stereo cable. This meaning that it, it can be used even for uh, transmitting two parallel streams and however we can use it even for a single stream of information and use two to block noise transmission. In the latter case we have a balanced configuration. And the XLR cable this or Canon is similar to the TRS and it was designed for microphones so it's mostly used for the balanced ones um, here you can see the three pins in a studio but even on stage we often have long cable runs so we'd better use balanced or XLR cable or TRS cable to avoid uh, annoying background noises.